here's my puppy not a puppy but my baby um but i want to kind of make sure you guys can see the records that i'm showing so these are roughly alphabetical but i kind of have my own way of doing alphabetizing some of the records are alphabetized by last name and some by first name it just kind of depends on what i think of when i think of the artist so starting down here we have ACDC Highway to Hell. We have some Aerosmith. This is Rock and a Hard Place. We have Aerosmith Rocks. And another Aerosmith Permanent Vacation. Which I think, yeah, this is pretty much one of my favorite Aerosmith albums. I love Ragdoll. Dude looks like a lady. Yeah, good one. And it's a big mood right now. With everyone on quarantine, I feel like everyone kind of feels like they're on a permanent vacation. But not one that you really want to be on. So it's like, weird. Um, then we have Aha, which I actually have two copies of accidentally. So I do have to sell one. They're both the exact same. They're the... Um, special edition clear vinyl and I didn't realize I already had it and then I got it so I will be selling one of these eventually probably just back to the record store for store credit okay I have a couple Beatles albums and all of these were purchased um, or sorry not purchased these were original albums that my grandparents had um, when they like came out so they're all in pretty rough shape but I do have some of them I don't think I have any Beatles albums that I've ever really purchased new because Beatles albums are crazy expensive. But I do have Abbey Road and this is an original Canadian pressing of it. It's in okay shape but it could really use a good clean. I just haven't gotten around to it. It also does say with someone's name. I don't even know if you can see that but it's, it's pretty nice. I have Beatlemania and my grandparents were famous for taping the records when they kind of like got worn so sorry about that but yeah. This is Beatlemania with the Beatles. My dogs are trying to come in. Um, this is one that was really badly water damaged. It says my aunt's name on. Okay. I have Blondie. This is Parallel Lines. Some David Bowie. I have a couple. This is another Record Store Day release. Sorry, the record, the original strength is there. Uh, this is, I believe, Let's Dance. Yeah, the so Let's Dance full length and demo. And then I have Hunky Dory. This is a limited edition gold vinyl version of it. Really nice. And I have A Lot Insane as well. Okay, so next up we have the Cordettes. I do love um, some older stuff as well. I think this is fifth if I'm not wrong 60s this is 60s and I love the cordettes because I'm a big fan of Sandman so I don't know I think it's really like nostalgic in a weird way because obviously I was born in the 90s but for some reason this feels nostalgic so I don't know but it's really good I like it okay so now we're into some Phil Collins I have Phil Collins serious hits live this is a double LP I think yeah it's a double LP who doesn't love some Phil Collins? I have No Jacket Required, a classic. And I think I have, yeah, I have Hello, I Must Be Going as well. I have one Culture Club album. This is Paint by Numbers, or straight Color by Numbers. Karma Chameleon, like, come on, really good. Classic 80s. I have some Eurythmics. I have Touch. And I thought I had more Eurythmics. Oh, yeah, here it is. I was going to say, uh, this is Revenge. I have one Depeche Mode. This is Violator. I think this is probably the most common record of theirs to have. I have... Daryl Hall and John Oates or Hall and Oates. I have one of their greatest hits. I want to get more. This is only part one. I want to get more of their stuff because I do really enjoy them, but I haven't I haven't got more of them yet. I have one Headley. This is Cageless. I went to their concert 
I think 2017. And this is a pink LP, it's really cute. Uh, the Human League, I have Crash. And then their most popular album, which is Human League Dare. This cover is really 80s, I love it. We have a John Cash singles album. I got this for free at Record Store Day a couple years ago. And I've just kept it sealed. I'm not a huge Johnny Cash fan, I know. Wow. But I just figured I'd keep it sealed. So. I have Mariah Carey to Infinity. Number one to Infinity. All of her number ones. I want to get more Mariah Carey as well. But I just wanted to have something that had a lot of her hits on it. So I got her number one collection, and it's very heavy. I have a couple Michael Jackson, I need to get more. I have the Thriller Maxi single, which is literally like, I feel like it's like 10 minutes of Thriller, and it's it's pretty it's pretty crazy. And then I actually have the Thriller album, so. Ignore my dog. I have Lana Del Rey Born to Die. I'm not a huge Lana Del Rey fan. This was gifted to me, but it's pretty good. I have Men at Work, Business as Usual. I know this is like a different color. I think their original was yellow, but it's still pretty cool. This is a music on vinyl pressing, so I, I don't know what the significance of making it white was, but yep. Oop, we're almost through our second cube, our third cube. I have, I'm just gonna cover that just for uh, YouTube, but this is Nirvana's Nevermind. Hopefully I'm covering everything enough. <laughs> go. Um, we have Paul Anka's uh, 21 Golden Hits, and this is another one I really like. Um, I believe this one is 60s as well. Could be wrong, it could be earlier, it could be later. I think it's 60s, it's 50s or 60s, but I love Put Your Head On, put your head on My Shoulder. Um, Diana, he's got some really good songs. He's very like, I don't know. He's also very nostalgic to me, even though this probably came out like 40 years before I was born, but yeah, my puppy. Uh, then some Katy Perry. I have Teenage Dream, of course, which is my favorite album by her. I think it's most people's favorite albums by her. I have her newest album, which is Smile. Okay, so that is another cube. Another cube done. These are all box sets. These are CD box sets, and these are two um, vinyl box sets that I said I'll show at the end. So let's put all of these back, and then we'll move on to the last cube. Hang on. I have The Police. This is, I can never pronounce this, so I'm not even gonna try, but. Police. I have another police album as well. Yeah, Synchronicity. Synch Synchronicity. I'm. I don't know what it is with police records, but the, I can't say the names. I don't know, but it's really nice. Good album. We have. Oh, this one's cool. This is Woodstock. Uh, we have. Oh, we have some prints. This is um, Chaos and Disorder. I need more prints, but. This is purple, it's really nice. Uh, oh, another Rolling Stones. This is another one I got at Record Store Day for free. And this is like an early track. It's also sealed. I haven't opened this one. More Rolling Stones. This is all from my grandparents. This is Emotional Rescue. And then I have Rolling Stones Through the Past Darkly, Big Hits Volume 2. I have some girls, which is kind of cool. This one's neat. You can like move the inner sleeve and change the faces. It's kind of cool. We have Simple Minds, Life in a Day. Oh, Frank Sinatra. So this is in the Wee Small Hours. Love Frank Sinatra as well. These two I actually found just on the street. Someone was just like on the side of the street. Someone was like throwing them out. So I picked them up and they're in really good shape. Um, it's Frank Sinatra Greatest Hits and then what, Greatest Hits number two. I don't know if you can see without the glare. But yeah, I was like, oh. And I thought like they'd be throwing them out because they were like something was wrong with them, but they're fine. 
Um, and then I also have the Ultimate Sinatra, of course. It's a gatefold, it's nice. Okay, oh my goodness. Next up we have Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA, another classic. Fine Line by Harry Styles. I'm a big Stevie Nicks fan, of course, as we all witnessed, and she really liked this album and endorsed it, so I bought it. And I will say, I really do like it. It's got a very 70s, 80s vibe to it, and it's really good. And if you're not usually into like more modern pop, like I'm not usually really into modern music, it's actually really good, and I would take a chance on it. And it's a double LP, it's really nice, and if Stevie likes it, probably pretty good um oh lover i have lover again i'm not really a fan of taylor swift but i thought this album was really nice and the whole like theme of the album with the blue and the pink one one record's pink one's blue i thought the whole theme was really nice so i i picked it up and i do quite like it we have okay now I ha i'm into my thompson twins collection they're one of my favorite like synth 80s bands i don't know how to describe them the new wave british bands they're cool um so i do have a bunch of thompson twins so this is close to the bone this is a kind of like matte white version the cover is a little bit different and then i have an original i have of course this is my favorite thompson twins album and probably their most famous this is into the gap i have Oh, this is a maxi single of Hold Me Now, which is the song that got me into the Thompson Twins. Um, oh, we have Sidekicks. I think this one's called something else other places around the world, but it's called Sidekicks here. And then here's to Future Days. I think that's all. Yeah, so then I have Tiffany. Another 80s kind of one-off album, but it's pretty good. And then Shania Twain, who is another really nostalgic artist for me, grew up listening to her. So I have a couple of her records. I have Come On Over, which is probably my favorite. I also really like this one though. This is Up. It's probably the one I listened to the most as a kid. And then I think this is her first album, The Woman In Me. I want to get her newest one as well. That one's really good. Okay, so then we have some Tom Petty. This is Hard Promises. I really love The Waiting, so I picked this one up. And The Insider, she does that one with Stevie Nicks and it's really good. Uh, oh, these are kind of neat. Um, so these, I think now we're into soundtracks. Oh no, we're not, not quite yet. A few more and then we're into soundtracks. But these are kind of cool. These are sampler packs. I don't know how to pronounce this, if it's Way or Wea. I don't know what the brand likes to be called, but they're like sampler packs from um, like this is kind of the thing they would I believe the way it would work is they would give it to like um, a radio station to play like the, the upcoming music so they're promotional not for sale and it's really neat so this one has like in the air tonight uh, ABBA super trooper um, it has like mr. Sandman and some Rolling Stones so really neat and this one over here has more Rolling Stones start me up um, edge of 17 by Stevie foreigner um, so yeah, it has some really like just neat stuff and I really love um, compilation albums So I found these and I decided to get them. They were both five dollars at my local record store like my local small record store Okay, so then we have Weezer I Love this one. This is an album they did of covers and it's really cool like it's got Africa everybody wants to rule the world sweet dreams take on me happy together like it's really cool did some um, Michael Jackson no scrubs yeah it's it's really good if you are not really a Weezer fan because I'm not like a huge Weezer fan but this is really good and they did excellent covers of these songs in my opinion I think yeah we're down to the last um, album before we get into compilations and soundtracks so this is uh, Wham's Make It Big. You can see someone spilled nail polish on it, but still good. Love Wham. And I'm going to put all of these back, and then we'll get into soundtracks. And then I do have a couple records I got for Christmas that are not on my shelf yet that I'm going to really quickly sl quickly show. My only Christmas album, which is kind of weird because I do love Christmas. But this is a very, a very special Christmas 
and it's kind of a compilation album with a bunch of like celebrities doing Christmas songs and Stevie Nicks is on here singing Silent Night which is why I got this one so yeah there's that one I'm just gonna put them away as we go to save me some time we have the Friends soundtrack which is another limited edition I think that came out this year um yeah special friends 25th anniversary edition and it's pretty good i some of the songs i'm not a huge fan of on here but i love friends friends is my favorite tv show ever 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 so i have this one okay next up we have oh stranger things i have a couple stranger thing uh stranger things soundtracks this is from Stranger Things 3, so the most most recent season, is it? I don't know, but yeah, it's this one. And this is like the actual songs, like actual 80s stuff. And then this one is um, from Stranger Things 3 as well, but it is like the background music, if that makes sense. It's like the original score. Okay, so yeah, Stranger Things, really like Stranger Things. I, of course, I love 80s music, so I just love the whole vibe of the show and yeah then we have some disney stuff we have the haunted mansion picture disc this is um the original music from the ride obviously you have the haunted mansion theme and then you have ghostly music box and it goes on and on just it's basically the ride theme it was really nice picture disc so i got this when we went to disney world and uh this one at a thrift store this is peter pan um it's the songs from the original motion picture We have Star Wars. This is the Star Wars trilogy. I believe it's the original. Yeah, it's the original Star Wars trilogy uh, theme, which is cool. Let's push these up a little bit. I have Star Wars: A Space Odyssey. More music from Star Wars. Love Star Wars. If you haven't realized and then I have the sound of music which is another really really pretty soundtrack that's my dogs another really pretty soundtrack I believe this might be an original pressing it's old let's see let's see oh 2001 a space odyssey more space music Oh, this is cool. This is My Fair Lady with Audrey Hepburn, another movie soundtrack. Really pretty. Love this. And, oh, almost done. Top Gun. Love Top Gun. Top Gun's one of my dad's favorite movies, so it's kind of again in like a nostalgic type feeling all the music but it's got like danger zone by kenny loggins and that's yeah, really good so uh, top gun and then oh last but not least we have saturday night fever which of course has the Bee Gees, which i love the Bee Gees. so we love some disco it's my only disco album well, my only like disco disco album. So, yeah. And these are not going to be in any kind of order, really. Um, so, I'll do the Fleetwood Mac ones first. This is Fleetwood Mac 1962 to 19. Uh, sorry, 1969 to 1972. And it's a box set that includes them play on Kiln House, Future Games, and Bear Trees. Uh, then we have probably the most famous box set in terms of like, these are the famous albums. This is Fleetwood Mac 1975 to 1987, so it includes all their classic albums. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac, Rumors, Tusk, Mirage, and Tango in the Night, all colored vinyl. And it is numbered, you can see there. Probably my favorite box set that I have, if I'm being honest. Then we have, oh, 
Then these are the end of, oh, so now we have one more. This is 50 Years Don't Stop, which I got for my birthday, I think last year. I don't remember, but it's the it's 50 Years of Fleetwood Mac. So it has like all the way back to um, before Stevie and Lindsay joined the band, all the way to like unreleased stuff from um, their most recent album. So pretty cool. Then we have the record box sets. I have, which I'm just gonna kind of do a quick show. We have the Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac one, the Rumors one, there we go, the Rumors one, and the Mirage one. And in these, they have the record, the CD, like a, they have usually like a booklet. It's kind of like a deep dive into the records. I'm missing the Tusk and the Tangle in the Night one, so I'm hoping to get those in the future. Of the Stevie Nicks Stand Back collection from 1981 to 2017 so it's like a career encompassing box set and it has like I think it's six LPs it's five or six LPs and Lindsay Buckingham did the same thing like I think a year prior and this isn't a six LP set this is the solo anthology by Lindsay Buckingham and this one is basically the same career encompassing this one is a little bit cooler in the sense that I did get a signed lithograph with it. They're both really awesome, but this one I did um, get one of the first ones released and it is signed, hand signed. So I'm going to be framing this lithograph and then when I actually have wall space in the future when I move, I'm going to be hanging it. So this is really cool. Um, he's my favorite guitarist ever, obviously, and he's an integral part of the Fleetwood Mac that we all know. Obviously he's not in the band anymore, but I still support him and I still support the band. So I was really happy to have both of these solo anthologies. So yeah, Lindsay's and Stevie's about um, that I got for Fleetwood Mac. And this is, I waited like since July for this to get here. It took a really long time. This is Fleetwood Mac 1973 to 1974. It includes Penguin, Mystery to Me, Heroes Are Hard to Find, Live from the Record Plant, December 15th, 1974. They all are colored. And it does include a 45 as well, I believe. I don't remember what the 45 is. And it is also numbered, I have 415. Which I think is the lowest number I have for any of my numbered box sets or records. So that's pretty cool. And then the last big box set that I have, before I show a few 45, actually, you know what? Should I show the 45 box sets? Maybe I won't show the 45 box sets this time because I do have a couple of those. But I think I'll leave those and do those when I do the rest of my 45 collection. So this is going to be the last one that I show you guys. Oh my goodness, it's really in there. And it is the biggest um, set that I have as well. I got this one for my birthday last month. And this is the ABBA... Uh, let me scooch back. It's so pretty. You can see, you see that? This is the ABBA the studio albums collection. So it includes all eight of their studio albums. Um, so, eh, and they're all colored. I hope you guys can see. It's got Ring Ring, ABBA, the album, Super Trooper, Waterloo, Arrival, Voulez Vu, and The Visitors. So they're all there. You can see they're all colored. And it's gorgeous, guys. It's huge, it's heavy, and it is my one of my prized possessions for sure. One of my Christmas gifts. So thank you, Dad. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a storage, extra storage container. As you can see, my record shelves are very full. They're not too tight that they're like squeezing the records, um, but I definitely can't fit any more on my shelf. So they got me this, which is so nice. It's by Music on Vinyl, and it's like this tote. So this is gonna be my extra storage um, until I can get more space. The exciting one I got was the Jurassic Park soundtrack, and this is the 20th, 20th anniversary. It's on standard black, and this is the one I've wanted for a really, really long time. I've, Jurassic Park is like my favorite soundtrack ever, so I've been looking for this for a really long time, and I was so happy to get it for Christmas. And the original owner did keep the original sticker, which is really, really nice. So thank you, Dad. And then I also got, um, oh my gosh, 5150 by Van Halen, which is another record that my dad's wanted me to have for quite a while, but we haven't been able to find it. So I'm really excited to listen to this. I've never listened to it before. And the last record I got for Christmas is this one here. And this is Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill. It's an album I've heard a lot about, but I've never actually took the time to listen to myself. So I'm really excited. 
and it's got a little sneak on the back, which is very fitting for me. So I have a lot of sneaks, and yeah. So I'm really excited to listen to those all the way through. But I thought I would just kind of show this because it's really nice. Okay, so I hope you guys can see okay, but this is my record player up here. It is the ATLP60 by Audio Technica, and I have a cork mat from my favorite record store, Sonic Boom, on there. I have a Bluetooth. Um, I totally forgot what this is called, but it plays CDs. I'm useless with technology sometimes. And my cassette player, which has my Emma Bunton cassette in it. Um, I also have my record brush, a crystal, Google Home Mini my little message board, my remote for the record player, and another brush, which I got in Secret Santa last year. So yeah, that's kind of my setup. Works pretty nice for what I need it for. I definitely want to upgrade the turntable eventually, but I'm very happy with it. It works pretty well. It's a good starter table, and yeah. So I hope everybody enjoyed seeing my record collection. I know there's a lot, so I'm sorry that I couldn't like go in depth with any of the albums really. Um, I didn't want to make this like a bazillion hours long, so just moving all these records. I didn't want to make this like a bazillion hours long because I, it would be very long. I have over 200 records and that's not even with, I didn't even show my 45s. So yeah, and I didn't show, I think there's like maybe 30 down here that I didn't show because they're not really like in playable condition. Um, but yeah, so. Let me know if you guys want to see more like record stuff. Like I said before, I will still be doing like animal reptile videos. I just want to expand more into doing like lifestyle stuff as well because it's hard to come up with content with animals all the time and have like good content and not be repeating the same stuff I do over and over again. So like I said at the beginning, if you have anything specific you want to see um, from my reptiles, I do have a couple fish tanks if you want anything specific with that or my dogs definitely let me know when I can do those animal videos like if it's possible for me to do them it is winter here now so I can't really do anything where I'm taking um, the reptiles outside or anything like that because there's there's snow but yeah and if you want to see any of the box sets like all of them like unpacked and everything I can do that it would just take a really long time because most of the box sets have five or more records in them and there's a lot of like packaging that goes into that so I'm rambling now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did and you want to see more like different content from me, definitely subscribe, like, all the things. My Instagram is also down below if you want to see more like day-to-day -day stuff. I post reptiles and records most of the time, but my dogs are also heavily featured on there, so if you want to see my dogs, definitely check that out. And yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope everybody is staying safe and staying home if you can I obviously um, I'm off from work right now my, my work is closed so I hope that everybody's staying safe and healthy and just just be safe and um, think about your fellow human because you know we're all going through a tough time so be kind and I will see you guys in the future bye